Hello and welcome to Puzzle Master. This is the puzzle guy and in this video I will show you how to solve Pekka Bell puzzle. This puzzle was designed by Theo Gehring and Simon Havinga and 3D printed by No Problem Puzzles. Difficulty level of the Pekka Bell puzzle is 8 out of 10 on a Puzzle Master's difficulty scale that runs from 5 to 10 and the objective of the puzzle is to fit all 5 pieces inside the bell in such a way that when you flip it upside down all the parts will stay inside and none of them will fall out. The bell comes uh, disassembled so to say the clapper and the handle goes aside and it is easy to put the handle and remove it from the bell but the clapper once you put it inside it is quite a challenge to remove it and I'm afraid that you can even break it if you try to remove it again but the handle is quite easy to remove it and I'm going to remove it so that I can easily show you how to solve the puzzle. So the clapper is quite an interesting part here since now you can move it around well, quite a lot but as soon as you put one of the pieces inside you see that I have some restrictions now. I can't move the clapper around the entire opening because of this piece. Now if I add another part for example right here I don't have as much move as before and then if I add one more piece for example right here I have even less moves with the clapper now and I can add one more piece but then there is not enough space to fit the last piece. I can fit it but it sticks out and that is not the solution and when I flip the bell the parts will just fall out so you have to find another way how to solve the puzzle and it is quite a tricky and interesting solution. If you like the Pekka Bell puzzle and you want to buy it, go to puzzlemaster.ca and if you want to see the solution of this puzzle, keep watching the video. And now I will show you how to solve the puzzle. So first of all, put the clapper like so and grab the largest piece and put it inside this way. Now put the clapper to this side, grab this part and put it in this corner. The next move will be to put this piece on the left side right here and we have a little bit space between two parts so that we can put the clapper right there and we have only two parts left. This goes right here and the last piece fits inside here with a little bit of uh, rotation and then you move the clapper and all the parts stay inside when you uh, flip the bell upside down. As you can see I can even put the handle and do a little bit of bell noise <laughs> but it sounds plastic and to remove all the parts out again put the clapper here remove this uh, piece you have to do it with some rotation and then it is quite easy to remove the rest of the parts by moving the clapper and removing the pieces from the frame and that is how you solve the Pekka Bell puzzle designed by Theo Gehring and Simon Havinga. These guys are quite famous uh, designing this type of, I think it's a new type of puzzle with uh, moving restrictions. So if you like this puzzle and you want to try some other amazing puzzles designed by Theo Gehring and Simon Havinga, go to puzzlemaster.ca. See you next time.